Hello, and welcome to World Architecture Festival 2021, whatever your time zone. I'm Paul Finch, founder of and programme director at World Architecture Festival, and it's my pleasure this week to co-host the presentations with WAF curator Jeremy Melvin. We've worked on the festival, both of us, since its launch in 2008, and as you can imagine, we were determined, along with the rest of the WAF team, to keep the architecture flag flying this year, despite the pandemic. As you probably know, the reason for not staging our usual live event, which was planned to take place in Lisbon, has been the effect of COVID-19 on the ability of architects to travel freely. We found that too many of the practices shortlisted in the awards programme couldn't attend a live event, hence our decision to go digital this year. But we do plan to be live in Lisbon in December 2022, so pencil it in your diaries. Once that decision to go digital was taken, we had to deal with some pretty difficult logistics in respect of judging this year's award categories. With a record number of more than 1,400 entries, admittedly some of them uh, held over from 2020, we shortlisted more than 600 individual designs from architects from about 40 countries. The tasks we then faced were, first, how to deal with the different time zones of architects presenting from across the world, and second, how to make this work with the time zones of the three-person judging panels, with those judges themselves in different country locations. We managed to do this by starting quite early in the morning, UK time, and viewing presentations from Australasia and East Asia first, gradually moving west, like the sun, across the globe during the course of the day, or in some cases, across two days. This allowed almost all the shortlisted architects to present their work at a reasonable hour. Now, to make the judging time zones work, we had to exclude a large number of judges from east and west to avoid them having to rise or finish at really unearthly hours. So our judging base this year was slightly narrower than usual, but we expect things to return to normal for 2022 with the usual representatives from across the world. A word about the technology platform. For the best viewing experience, press the Watch Live tab at the top of your screen to view the sessions. Some of these sessions will include interactive uh, responses. To get involved, click on the Live Discussion box on the right-hand side of the screen and ask a question or make a comment. You can use this box to discuss the session with other attendees and you can also share your views on the sessions on social media using hashtag WAF2021. I'd like to thank all our judges and of course all our speakers across the next three days, but in particular I'd like to thank our supporters, our founder partner, Grower, a really loyal supporter, and our headline partners, ABB and Mila, both of whom have been with us for several years. Without their support, we wouldn't be able to bring you this virtual event, so please take time to use the platform to find out more about what they can offer to specifying architects. All the sessions will be available on demand, so if your colleagues miss anything, you'll be able to view everything from the following day, uh, and indeed the category judging sessions are already available to view online and both the judging and conference sessions will be available to view for the next 90 days. So actually, this is the most accessible festival we have yet staged. Now, after a word from uh, our key sponsor, Grower, I'm going to hand over to Jeremy, who will chair the first session. <laughs> 